with the NFL season starting up, uh, and I'm not picking on the NFL, but inevitably some team, hopefully not one of your favorite teams, but some team will lose two or three games in a row. And usually at the post-game press conference after that third loss, the coach will say something to the, I can promise you this, you're gonna laugh when you see it, will say something to the effect of, tomorrow at practice, we are getting back to the basics. We're going back to the basics. I mean, it's going back to the basics, going back to the fundamentals. You see the fundamentals continuing to grow. Got to get back to, to the basics. I think it's more about, again, getting back to the basics. I still believe it's about fundamentals. When the ball snapped, don't do something that you have not practiced. The reality is rely on the techniques that you have hammered over and over um, since you've been here and since you've gone to the drills. They will say something like that. Blocking and tackling, throwing and catching. Those are the basics of football. And now keep in mind that NFL head coaches are some of the best leaders on the planet. I mean, you're talking about a vocation where there's only 30 jobs in the world. So those guys are brilliant, brilliant coaches. But it always makes me laugh that if your solution to the problem is to get back to the basics, how about you never leave the basics in the first place? Like, think about that. It's almost comical. If you work on blocking, tackling, throwing and catching every single day, then that won't be the reason that you're not successful. Now, there'll be another reason, and it doesn't mean that you won't lose two or three games in a row if you do work on those things, but don't ever let that be the reason. It goes back to the control the controllables. So anytime you, you think, I need to get back to the basics, you're already a step behind because you never should have left them in the first place. But that's okay. Remember, we give ourselves some space and some grace and some compassion to be less than perfect. So any of these things that we're sharing right now, if you need to go back to the basics when we leave here, that is awesome. And I, I wanna encourage you and support you and, and cheer for you to do that. It's a great jumping off point to recalibrate and get everybody on the same page. But then don't let that lull you into a sense of complacency. Just know that three, four, six, eight, ten 10 months from now, you gotta keep tightening those screws and keep refining that lens to make sure that everyone is staying on course with those things. But we definitely don't need to make it any more difficult than it needs to be. And we don't ever want to make things any more complex than it needs to be. Complexity undermines execution. If you've seen me a couple of times, you've most likely heard the Kobe Bryant story the first time that I met Kobe. And uh, really the, the lesson that I learned from him in 2007 um, is the foundation of everything that I teach and I preach to this day, uh, which is the, net, the best never get bored with the basics. And that if you want to excel in any area of your life, you have to work relentlessly on mastery of the fundamentals. And a good portion of that work is done during what we call the unseen hours when nobody else is watching.